Hey everybody, I'm Chef John Bielfus, and I'm here today with a great recipe for you, Spezzantino. It is a delicious, really awesome, Italian stew made with veal or pork or beef or lamb, probably venison. Today I'm making it with veal, it's my favorite way, it's delicious, and let's get right at it. Here's everything you're gonna need to make this fabulous Spezzantino. Extra virgin olive oil, two to two and a half pounds of veal stew meat. Now I bought this from wildforkfoods.com. I've been buying a lot from them lately and it's really good. I have a sofrito of pretty much equal parts of white onion, celery, and carrot that I've diced. I've got four garlic cloves that I've minced and a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. A cup of white wine, this is Pinot Grigio, my favorite for this. Two cups of chicken stock. Two good sized rosemary stalks. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. Now I've been using this tomato paste in the tubes lately because there's no waste. Ten small potatoes cut in half. Last time I made this with button mushrooms because uh, my wife loves button mushrooms and I had some. This time I've got a gourmet assortment here and I'm going to use those. So, And the mushrooms are certainly optional, but we like mushrooms in our house. I've got half a pound of frozen peas and salt and pepper. I didn't show you the salt and pepper because I know you know what it looks like. First thing I do is just salt and pepper the veal. Uh, I dry it off with some paper towels and then just salt and pepper it. And we're gonna brown this in batches. That's our first step. So I'm gonna heat up some olive oil here and my, you see this blue Dutch oven a lot, don't you, in my videos. I love this thing. We're gonna heat up a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna brown this veal in batches. And that's what you want to hear. You want to hear that nice sizzle. We don't want to crowd these too much. If we don't want them to steam, we do want them to get brown. That's about enough for this batch. You can tell when these are brown because like any meat, when they're brown on one side, they'll release their salt from the pan. And then we just want to flip them and stir them on that other side. And once they're browned all around, we're gonna remove them. And we'll start our second batch. My iPhone just told me it was time to relax. The cookie's relaxing, right? I think I'm good. So that's my last batch of meat. I'm gonna pull that out. I'm cooking this on medium high so that I can get it everything nice and brown. And I'm gonna turn it down just about a medium and add all of our vegetables. Give that a good stir. We add a nice pinch of salt to help them sweat. Let those cook for about 10 minutes just till the onions are translucent. Well, that's been about 10 minutes and that looks right. So I'm going to add our garlic and our red pepper flakes. Give that a stir. We're just going to stir this around for about a minute. We don't want that garlic to burn. It'll get better. And now we're gonna add our Pinot Grigio. And this is where we get all that good stuff off the bottom of the pan. And we wanna cook this wine almost all the way out. I'm gonna turn the burner back up just a little. We're gonna cook this down until it's almost totally gone. There's a little more to this recipe than some of my others. I just hope it's not too complicated or too extreme. So that's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna add the meat and any accumulated juices uh, back to the pan. I'm gonna add our two cups of chicken stock. Two tablespoons of tomato paste, one, two ish. One of our rosemary stalks, 
Spezzatino is a very dry stew, uh, so we so I don't add a lot of liquid at this point. This is about perfect, and we're going to want to check it. We're going to cook it now for an hour and 15 minutes, and we're going to want to check it from time to time to make sure it hasn't dried up and that we need to add a little more stock. So that's come up to a simmer now. I'm going to turn it down to low, 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 cover it, and I'm going to let it simmer for an hour and 15 minutes. So now that's been simmering for about an hour and 15 minutes. Give it a stir. And we're gonna add our potatoes and our mushrooms. And go ahead and take our rosemary stalk out now. I'm gonna bring that back up to a simmer. And I'm gonna cover it. And we're gonna let that go about another 20 minutes. So this has been 20 more minutes. The potatoes are just about done. The meat seems done. I'm gonna add our peas. And I'm gonna take this last rosemary stalk and just pull the leaves right off it and add that in. Give this a stir. And we want this to be a dry stew and this is just about how I want it. I might add just a touch more stock to it, but this is just about right. So now we're gonna cover it and let that go another five minutes. It's delicious, enjoy, I'm gonna get a good picture for you. Well, there you go, another semi-exciting episode of Scratch Cook with John. I really hope you enjoy this recipe, it is one of my very favorites. And I want to thank you for your great response to me coming back online last week. I was really, really touched. And we'll do this again next week. Thanks again.